Well, hello everyone. It's Monday the 19th of August and my question to you is, where in the world is this summer going? I mean, jeez. I remember I was getting so excited. It was May, summer was starting and now it's August. Kids are back to school and it all starts again. So first things first, we got to look at weekly data. Markets are up. There's more hopes that there'll be a resolution with China in terms of tariff wars where we haven't really seen anything other than a pushback. But quiet start of the week, not a lot of economic news. The big news of the week is FOMC minutes. They're going to happen on Wednesday, Wednesday the 21st, 48 hours from now. What you need to be mindful of is the Fed already told us they're not lowering rates anymore for the rest of the year. The question now is, are they going to start raising rates if the economy gets better? I don't think this FOMC meeting is going to have a lot of impact because the Fed has been so open. That's the nicest way I could put it about their future projections. Most of you know how I feel about it. I think the, this Fed is being a little too transparent. But anyhow, FOMC, 2 o'clock Eastern time on Wednesday. Don't expect a wild market or a lot of volatility till the FOMC uh, hedge fund managers are going to be on a wait and hold mode to see what the FOMC has in store. But again, expect volatility on Wednesday based on the FOMC. Keep your eye on the bond market. The next big report is jobless claims. That happens at 8.30 Eastern on Thursday. And Friday, Jerome Powell speaks and new home sales. That's the news for the week. Now, here's what you need to know. Put the call ratio was really stretched out last week. It's still coming down to neutral. We're still at the 110 level. I believe the market has more upside as a result. Not too much upside, but a little upside. Now, the market right now overnight is up about 300 points on the Dow. We're going to open at about 292 level, right around here. Now, the 50-day moving average is at 294.26. You have to keep your eye on the 200 on the 50-day moving average. The odds are very strong that we're going to hit the 50-day moving average, sucker a bunch of buyers in like we did over here on the 13th and we did here on the 8th and move back down to our twilight zone level, which is between the 50-day moving average and the 200-day moving average, okay? That's what I'm seeing right now. I'm not seeing the economy be strong enough to overpower and take us higher than the 50-day moving average right now. We may get there, but I don't think we're there now. I think right now the market's still reacting and bouncing back from that stretched out move that we had last week. All right. That's what the put the call ratio is saying. And that's what price action and momentum is saying. Keep your eye very closely on that 294 level, slightly above 294, 294 and change, 294 and 15, 294. If we get above 294, there's a good chance we're going to get bearish again. Keep your eye out on the bond market, ticker symbol TLT. That's the long bond. It's already down a little bit, and I'm expecting it to come down a little bit more. Bonds should be coming off. We went a little too high based on the Fed saying we're not going to lower rates anymore for the remainder of the year. Not a smart decision. That's what caused this rise right here. And it would have been better if they waited till after the stock market went down a thousand points to say it, but that's not here nor there. The bottom line is keep your eye out on the 50 day moving average. If you're trading the futures or looking at the futures, let me give you that number on the e mini. Yeah, markets are going to open about 300 points higher on the Dow, but the question is, are we going to stay there? And again, I believe we're going to hit, we're going to bounce off again the 50 day line the 50 day line is a 294 90 294 keep your eye out on that 294 ish 294 295 level all right that's it for today again don't expect too much don't expect too much i'm actually a little surprised that the market it's are this strong but again i think it's still a reaction from that pullback we had last week and this is positive but again we're not even at bullish level yet we're still neutral to bearish in terms of market sentiment so we need to cross that 50-day line i'm not going to get bullish till we're completely above the 50-day moving average on all the major indices for at least two days now lastly keep your eye on the russell 2000. the russell 2000 is a speculative index of small caps and it's been lagging behind substantially it's now at support level as you can see here it's still below the 200-day and the 50-day moving average but it looks like we're going to head higher on the Russell. 
And if we take out the 50-day line, which is at 153 on the Russell, there's a good chance the stock market may become overall bullish again. Although, again, the Russell was the first one to sell off when we had the bearish market sentiment coming in. It's smaller stocks. They're more speculative. They're more sensitive to economic data. Keep your eye on the Russell. If we break above the 153, 30-ish level and stay there, the markets will be bullish once again. There's a big if there. All right, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I've already probably said too much. But again, we're still reacting from that bounce, that pullback we had last week. Considered a rubber band snapping back. It doesn't mean momentum's moving to the buy side. It just means we're coming back to neutral. Talk soon.